welcome back to another CMM Tech Tip. I'm Trevor McLaughlin, and when I'm not teaching PC Demos courses at CMM, I work in the tech support department answering emails and phone calls for any issues relating to PC Demos. So recently I received an email that I'll share with you. It goes, please tell me how to change the dot size on the screen. Sometimes when my coworker is working on a tight area, these huge dots really bother her. So they would bother me too, and I'll show you how to change that. It's actually pretty easy. So if we have a look at my part here, I, I've taken a cluster of hits around this cone area. I'll zoom in there. So you can see I can't really distinguish between the dots, the precision of the hits that I was aiming for. And when I go to my report, you can see that doesn't look that great either. It's a little too clustered. They're kind of merged into each other. So let's fix that. Back to my main layout. So what we want to adjust is the display symbol. And we do that on the graphics mode toolbar. Uh, it's right here. It's called display symbols. Let's give that a click. And in the center of the dialog, you can see there's a whole section devoted to point symbol. So let me zoom in there and I'll show you the changes that I make. So this is the area we're concerned with, the diameter area. Uh, you can see the default setting is 0 0.079 and what I want to do is simply make that smaller. Uh, before I do that I'll show you a few other tips you can apply here. Uh, the shaded area, you can see how it's changed to more of an outline of a globe. You can adjust the lighting, which in this case doesn't help us much, and the quality of the of the sphere. So this one is a little more rounded if we have it on high quality. We can also change it from a sphere to three lines, so it's like a crosshairs type of a display. Uh, in this case I'll stick with sphere and reduce the diameter. So let's try say 0.02 inches and apply. So there we go, that looks a lot better, a lot more distinct, a lot clearer, and it shows our customer the precision of our hits and the exact location of them without being clustered in there and merged with the rest. Okay, so let's click apply, or okay I should say, and go to our report and I'll show you the, the changes. So remember we need to refresh the report every time we've made changes and that's done with this paintbrush. Let's give that a click. And there you go. So a much neater, cleaner report, a lot more detail shown. And yep, that looks good. So it's as easy as that. Um, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.